Hi, welcome to this guide on configuring a GraphQL backend for an Instagram clone without using any server code. Hopefully by the end of this guide, you'll be comfortable enough configuring your own GraphQL backend and also querying it with your app. So let's start by making a model. In Instagram we have posts, so let's make a post model. Our post automatically comes with an ID, but let's add two other fields for now, description and image URL. We're going to give a type string. And likewise for image URL, we'll give it string two. Okay, now that we've added some fields to our model, let's actually add some data we call them nodes. So I'm going to add a node now, add a description, and for the URL we'll just use place kitten, which will generate us random kitten images. So we'll add this one, and let's make another node, and add the URL. And now we should have two kitten posts in our application. Let's go ahead and test this now by querying it. We can do that from inside this dashboard by selecting the playground button on the left hand side. So let's construct our own query now. Notice that while I type it actually auto completes everything. So I can have all posts, all users, we'll do all posts for now. We'll select the description and also the image URL. We can do the ID too for good measure. Once we execute this query, we see the result on the right hand side. This is a really great way of quickly testing your queries out before we use them in our app. In addition to the autocomplete, we also have this docs feature on the right hand side, which gives us more information on all the different available fields that we can query. Right, so how do we hook up our application? Let's do that now. So I'm going to use the Relay React example, download the zip file, save that to my downloads, and drag that over to my desktop. I've actually already done this earlier, which is why I had to do the replace. I'll quickly extract it, and drag the extracted directory into my code editor. At the moment, all we have is a Relay React application that doesn't know anything about our backend, so let's tell it where to look. If we go back to our GraphQL dashboard, we can click on API endpoint, and if you select Relay, because that's what I've used in the example for the moment, and copy that in, we'll need to paste it in package.json, and also in source and index.js. Now that a React Relay application knows where to look for the data, let's start it. We'll run npm install to get the dependencies. And finally, npm start. Let's open up our web browser to localhost 3000 and check it out. And we see our kittens. We can even add a new kitten and add an image URL. And delete as necessary. In this guide, we haven't run through how to actually write the code to generate the UI for this, but it's reasonably small, so we encourage you to look through it yourself. Thanks for watching.